Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to really, really thank you guys so much for actually helping me reach my first quarter goal on YouTube. It's up. But today, y'all, we're doing another two by six, but it's going to be very, very detailed. And I'm in with the videos by posting three times a week. I got a layer video for y'all coming and just some more videos that's going to help us like elevate and get ourselves to the next level. So y'all already know this braid down. I posted it in my last video. So we're just doing a closure braid down and you want these braids to be very very small and you want them to be tedious like your braid down is the most important thing it's your foundation so don't forget that so y'all just watch me do the braid down and then let's get into like styling and the detail of this closure like i did some two by six closures but y'all this is a detailed video like y'all gonna want to see every video and then another thing you guys i'm having a class on april 21st it's gonna be hands on for 750 only so make sure y'all pop out and let's take this business to the next level a lot of people don't talk about how much you can make in the hair game it's so many gems like we talk about like ten thousand like ten like twelve thousand no it's no cap on your income in the hair game like right now i am doing 20k a month just off of services like with proof like so like my next video y'all i'm gonna just show y'all my face and i'm gonna like answer some questions and like because i want to like really help some girls i just started my mentorship program like to help people become a better stylist and just like raw and uncut like i'm ready like to help my girls like i'm i just love y'all but anyways y'all let's get back into this braid down so like i'm just braiding her hair now i'm going super duper slow like a braid down usually takes me about 30 minutes but I don't know what I got going on. Jazz, my girl. So I really, I really love her. So let's keep watching. And I'm going to stop talking right now because I'm talking too much. But just watch until the end. I know y'all probably be like, why do she show the braid down in every single video? Because y'all don't understand how much this braid down means. The braid down is the foundation. And if you can't get the braid down, the install ain't never going to be flat. And that's just the truth. Like, the braid down has to be flat. So I be trying to show y'all how small the braids got to be. Like, where the placement of the braids is. Like, so eventually I'm going to, like, stop showing the braid down as much as I do. But I feel like just coming on YouTube and actually, like, building my audience. Like, I want to show y'all the importance. And, like, especially when you're doing your own hair and trying to build a clientele like this is the most important part because we can always get styling but if the braid down is messed up everything gonna be messed up so this is why i always show so much of the braid down because it's so important to me it's like it's the foundation without a braid down you have nothing if the braid down is lumpy your install is lumpy everything is lumpy so the braid down is so 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 important So now that we finished the braid down, y'all, y'all see how crispy and clean that is? Real small, real cute, real neat. We gonna oil her scalp. You don't do nothing without oiling your client's scalp or your own scalp. Like, make sure your hair has moisture in it. And I'm a big fan. I'm about to come out with my own oil line. So just stay tuned. I'm not gonna talk too much on it, but like, stay tuned because like, I'm also big on healthy hair up under your installs. So let's go ahead and get into this closure now. What you're going to do first is you're going to take your got to be gel and you're going to brush them edges back because you don't want nothing in the way. So brush them edges back and make sure you get all of that out the way. So 
is cool clean and crispy everything got to be crispy like i don't play like that so like i said y'all my class is april 21st make sure y'all come it's gonna be hands-on it's different from watching a video like the video be cool but then the hands-on okay so next y'all we're gonna put the cap on just get a tan cap get a tan cap for everybody it don't matter if they chocolate if they brown if they light skin get a tan cap makeup will do the job makeup will make the color that you need to be made so always just get a tan cap nothing else nothing more Next, we're going to use our even spray. Your even spray is really important. This is like the got to be gel spray, but I don't really use got to be gel no more. I really love even. It's, it does wonders for me. It's like my best friend. Like, I go through like four cans a month. I just love it. So, and then, then you're going to sew the cap on like where you want the two by six closure at. Just because like you don't want your clients when they lift and they install you don't want to be seeing that tan cap so i always cut that cap off it just ain't never gave so just cut that cap off once you're done sewing it and measure it before you sew it too like make sure you measure the closure so it'll just fall in the right place you know now we just cutting the cap off you're just gonna cut the cap off and put another cap on a black cap because when they put their hair behind their ear y'all you want to be able to see black not tan that's not cute and clients will complain about that because i used to do that and i was just like well why you even do? but they want versatility so make sure you are giving them versatility and cutting this cap off so this is what i was saying like Use a tan cap because you can use makeup for anything. Like, just put the makeup on it and look, it's done. Look, it's changed to her skin color. So, make sure you use a tan cap because if the cap is too dark, the install is going to be trash. I'm telling you now. Also, this is important too. Make sure you cut them ends off of the closure. Like, you don't want that on there. Just go a little bit. Don't cut too much. But don't. Everything is important. I'm always keep saying, also, this is important. But everything important. So make sure you cut that off too. Just because you don't want, you want the closure to lay flat. And you want it to look like a frontal, you know? And look how that look. You see? Period. So go ahead and lay your glue down. You're gonna do three layers of glue and then you're just gonna smooth it out. Do three layers and smooth it out. Do not put the closure on until the glue is clear. And I mean clear, period. So now we're gonna go ahead and lay the closure and you wanna lay it so where it's to look like scalp. Point blank period, that's all you want out of this. You want this to look natural as possible and not like a helmet on top of your client's head. Cause I don't play like that. And y'all shouldn't either. Or your head. I'ma do one on myself too. Y'all want me to do one on myself? I got a lot of videos y'all been requesting. So like, oh, sorry. Okay, but y'all make sure you spray the even spray on there too. Make sure you get that elastic band. And after you get that elastic band, we are gonna start sewing these bundles. No, we're going to sew the closure. So just go ahead and sew the closure around. Like, you know, that's kind of common sense. Slow, sew the closure all the way around. And then just watch me do that. And I'm going to come back in.
Now we're gonna go ahead and put the net on, of course, and then we're just gonna go and start sewing. So when you sewing, you want to sew in a circle because you want the hair to fall in the face. So when you're sewing for a two by six closure, you want to sew in a circle because you want the hair to fall in the face. Don't forget that, that's important as well. So of course you're just going to keep sewing around and once you get to the very end of the other side you're just going to cut that track. And when you sewing, make sure you stick the needle through the weft. Like that's what I'm doing right now, making sure I stick the needle through the weft. And once I'm done sewing, I'm gonna come back in because like I have a sewing video and I will do a detailed sewing video on how to flip the tracks and do all that because that's important. I have done one, it's down below. So make sure y'all tune in to watch.
And when we go ahead and flip the end, you want to make sure that you're flipping one track at a time. And you will see what I mean here. After this track, you're going to go through one track first. Literally go through one track and then go through the other track. Because you do not want it to be bulky or lumpy at all. Like, sew-ins are supposed to be seamless and natural. So now that we at the end, you're going to single this bundle right here because you want it to be super duper flat. And you're going to put it right above where the closure is.
So you want to go ahead and put a slick stick on your bundles and then you want to hot comb it and this is going to give you a flat and silky look. Once you're done hot combing it, go ahead and take that bend off. We're going to see how this closure has melted, okay? Make sure you take that bend off. Look, you can't even see the lace, y'all, like no lie. And make sure you shop 527 extensions. www.salon527.net. Two by six closures, bundles, everything. Like, everything's so full and everything is it. Like, for real. And I'm not even lying. Like, I took a long time to find me some good vendors that I really liked it. So, make sure y'all shop. Or y'all go purchase my vendor. Period. Like, I'm selling my vendor. Go purchase it. If you are into selling hair or doing hair, go purchase it. And make your business go up. I'm all for everybody winning. But go ahead and cut this lace off. And after you cut this lace off, we're going to get into the styling. So you want to go ahead and clean that part up and just make it look clean as possible. And after you clean the part up, y'all know my favorite thing is putting foam on it to make it flat. If you ain't using foam on your installs, you left behind. So make sure you put some foam on these installs and make them pretty darn flat. Okay? Now we're gonna put some slick stick on the closure. Like it ain't it ain't closuring right now, y'all, right? Y'all like, okay, if that's how it looked, then I don't want it. But okay, this way, y'all. We're gonna put the slick stick on it and you're gonna get the hot comb. The hot comb is your girl best friend. I tell y'all this in every single video. If you don't got a hot comb, you're not a stylist. My hot comb is my right hand man. I order them like crazy. Love my hot comb. Like, simple. Love it. After we done hot combing, we're gonna go ahead and get into this flat iron and flat iron these bundles. Silky, like, look how pretty these bundles is though, y'all. Y'all can't tell me they're not pretty and beautiful. And look at Jazz, she's so pretty too. And just make sure you flat iron it and take it piece by piece. When you're doing people's hair or just any anything, take your time. Like, that's the best part about this. Like, you get to take your time and make sure you clean every detail up. Like, it takes me four hours to do every install that I do because I take my time. Like, I don't rush on nobody. I'm not slapping bundles in nobody's head. I'm not slapping a closure in there. Like, I'm not just flat ironing. I'm flat ironing piece by piece, little by little. And I'm gonna make sure that I clean every little detail up. Y'all see, like, I could have cut this out the video, but I wanted y'all to see, like, me going back and practicing this part and making sure that this part is sleek and making sure that this part is very clean because everything that's on video is not perfect like people don't just wake up and these installs are perfect we go back through these installs we spraying we hot combing these multiple times and you got to make sure that you're doing the same exact thing like take your time doing these installs and make sure they look flawless like to the t it ain't no playing around you want to make sure they look to the t
Now we're gonna go in and pluck it, and you do not pluck this part wide. It's a very slim part, and you're really not even plucking the parts, you're plucking what's in the middle that you already parted. Like, I gotta do this closer, but I didn't think about it while I was doing it, but do not pluck this part wide, just clean it up. Like, y'all see, I'm cleaning it up, I'm doing everything little by little, and y'all need to do this too, on your hair, your client's hair, on anybody's hair that you're trying to do, because I know if you're watching this video, you're interested in hair. So comment below and let me know if y'all interested in this video. And this is the trick. You're gonna take a little, little, little bit of black spray. And I mean, you're gonna spray it far away from the head. Like you can't even see the can in the video because it's so far away. Because I don't like that harsh black line. I still want it to look like scalp. So make sure you use a little tiny bit, spray it far away, and look. It just cleaned it up, y'all. Like, it don't, mm, mm And I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna spray what I need to spray. And I'm gonna use the metal tip of a comb. Like when I say this is detailed, this is every part I do of a closure. Like look how that look. It's crispy, it don't look like too fake. I don't like that fake black part. If you do that fake black part, I'd be like, ugh. But then go back in, take your slick stick and take your hot comb again and hot comb it. And you done, pretty much. Like, I don't know why I went and I don't know why I kept this in here. But this is just raw and uncut, y'all. Like, I'm spraying my spray. Y'all seeing everything. Like, I'm not cutting nothing out. Because I want to be able to connect with y'all and let y'all know that this stuff is real. So, yeah, flat iron it again. And I know I'm going to go hot comb again. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Tell me what y'all liked about this video. Tell me what y'all didn't like about this video. And tell me what y'all want to see. Like, I'm trying to get a list so I can make sure that I'm posting everything that I need to post for y'all. And for myself, too, because I really enjoy doing this. Y'all actually made this fun for me. So, like, yeah. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what, what we want to see next. And this is the end, y'all. This is how our install turned out. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment. I'll be commenting back, so make sure y'all comment on my video and tell me how y'all liked it. But y'all see that? Shop 527, www.salon527.net and get these bundles and disclosure. Thank you for watching.